everybody, and welcome to Houston Life on this Monday, June 3rd, if you can <laughs> believe it. We're so glad to have you with us. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. You know, yesterday, June 2nd, it was my sweet mama's birthday. Oh, Eileen. Yes. Happy birthday, I Eileen. Know. I know. Happy birthday. She's celebrating big in San Francisco with her two sisters, and I delivered a, uh, had a birthday cake delivered to them yesterday as a little surprise. That and is so sweet. Yeah, it was really sweet. Her original plan was to, for her to be here this week, and uh, her sister, my aunt, um, fell, so she's not doing too hot, but that's where she's, she's in the in the right place with her sister. Exactly. It's a good thing she's there, but yeah. Eileen, in case you're watching, anytime you want to come down here and visit us at Houston Life, you're welcome. We love having your mom on the show. I know, I, and I miss her. I haven't seen her, I guess, since March, so we're due for a visit. And speedy recovery to your aunt yes, as well. Yes, Aunt Dot, I know. My mom and I haven't seen each other in a while either. She usually comes down here. I right. try to get home to see her, but it's so funny. The entire weekend went by. My mom is such a busy lady now. I'm not going to mention her age, but uh, she's a little older than I am. <laughs> and she's so busy that she won't even call me. Social calendar, I'm telling you. I know. Busy They're busy. Bobby Sharon. I know. Um, and so another big, uh, we had such a jam-packed weekend. I was in full mom mode this weekend. But, you know, remember, of course, Friday morning was the big moving on sale. Last I'm just going to call it a graduation for fifth grade. But, um, and then they had their fifth grade swim party, um, which was the strangest thing in the world. You know, it started to rain. I was going to say there were huge thunderstorms Huge thunderstorms. Friday. And then, uh, so every time it thundered, you got another, you had to restart the 30-minute lag time so the party was saved um and the kids at one point in in a total downpour a bunch of fifth graders have lined the perimeter of the pool just waiting and like they couldn't even see two feet in front of their face and they were waiting for the rain to stop so they could so yes so they jumped in. in the whistle blew the lifeguard you know jumped in 10 minutes later lifeguards blew the whistle and said adult swim and we were like there, none of the adults are swimming. Can we just get this thing going? They've waited 40, you know, an hour to swim. So I went over with my little umbrella and I was oh, like, where's no. the head lifeguard? Where is he? Can we move this adult swim? None of the adults are swimming. But apparently, so I did talk to the head when lifeguard. When Courtney Zavala has a complaint, watch out. <laughs> because she will find the right person. I mean, because we were, they were ready to pack us up and just leave, right? And so, you know, a lot of the, we were at capacity, and so a lot of the parents dropped their kids off because we had chaperones and lifeguards there, and the parents did their thing, come back at 8 o'clock and get your kid. So in the midst of all of this, it kept thundering and thundering and thundering, so we're, the, the party is getting delayed and delayed and delayed. They finally went in, but I, I said, there's not one adult that is swimming here. I mean, you had an hour and a half break for the thunder. Can we just speed up the adult swim only? You know, I'm like, and as well, apparently it's a text, it's a state law for these type, like a community pool. To have the to adult have swim. The, the break. So you were asking them to break the law. That's basically what Connor told me. Well, there you I, go. But I was schooled. I didn't know. I had to so carry on with the state law then. Let's just make the time so tick a little faster. You just sat there while, while no one swam. <laughs> I worried about you guys because on Friday after work, you know, I hoped to get out of work early. That didn't happen. I stayed until after 6. But on my way home, my GPS was taking me a different way. And I thought, oh, wow, traffic must be really, really yeah. heavy. We live near downtown, so right. it's not too long to, to get there. But it took me through Meyerland. I don't know why, because the roads were flooded. flooded. I could not get home on Friday, and I thought, oh, there's the Lowe's parking lot. I'm just going to be really sneaky and drive Scoot through the in. parking lot and then, you know, go around the flood. Yeah. And no, no, there was no it was going so around. Bad. The, yeah. It was so bad. But then, you know, as we know, typical Houston weather, it stops and then the sun comes out. It was a beautiful evening. And a beautiful weekend. It really indeed. was. It nice and like hot. Summer. I know. And, you know, because it's been wedding season for us, this was the first weekend we had been home in Houston in yeah. like more than a month. Oh, that's good. You got some R&R. &R. So, well, yeah, a little bit. Uh, we worked in the yard and did all of that. But I think we should start Monday morning with a drink. I think so. Because it's been a while since we've had it's, it's cocktails on the show. It's been a hot minute show. since we've had any oh, sort of... Carlos. Oh, look at you. We are just in Ask luck. and you shall receive. We had a special delivery from our friends over at Wine and Food Week. Hard to believe. Oh. Fabulous. Where did you find that towel? <laughs> it was the screen wiper. It's Isn't okay. Isn't that the wipe we <laughs> used to mop up the f floor? It's very, sanit very, very sanitary. Very sanitary. It's on Thank his you. arm, not ours. So that's Carlos, good. Carlos, how nice. 
fabulous. Yes. And I can't believe it's that time of year already for the Wine and Food Week. It happens up uh, in the woodlands, right? Absolutely. And they have all kinds of events. Always a great event. And what I love about this is, uh, you know, it's happening June 3rd through the 9th. Yum. This is their 15th anniversary. It is this It's year. unbelievable. And it's cool because every day there are different events. And so I think, is it Tuesday they do the men's only mm -hmm. event? It's a guy thing it's on Tuesday. Thing. And then Ladies of the Vine Luncheon happening on Friday. And it's all there along the waterway. They have an so event beautiful. at the Marriott on the waterway there. It's beautiful. It really is. And it's one of those things, you know, if you're looking for something to do, a date night or a fun guys night or girls night, this is a great thing to do right in the woodlands. It's really wonderful. And seen on Houston Life, um, check that out where we have the entire list of events that are going on. Very nice Chardonnay for this hot, hot day, don't I you know. think? It is Makes lovely. Monday a little bit more... I don't know, tolerable, if you will. Well, we're also uh, going to be chatting about cocktails coming up today on the show. Lauren Kelly is out at a very special place, yeah, and right. we'll get to that in just a minute. I but, you know, it. as long as we're talking about summer, quickly, I know we don't have a lot of time for this, but have you heard about the freckle thing going around online? I, I didn't until we were chatting about it in the office. I didn't know anything about it. Apparently what happened is a woman posted a photo of her wrist on Twitter next to the wrists of other women, and they all found that they had similarly placed freckles on the top side of of their wrist. So this, this. Oh, like, this side of your wrist. This clearly, I not the under. Not aware the of the full so, study, but check it out. Well, that's my hand. That's not. But you have another freckle. I do right have one. Here, hold, hold it up okay. so our lovely viewers can see. So Wait, Courtney has the wrist freckle, and we want to know if you have. So the that's wrist one freckle. on my hand. You've can got one there. Out? You've got one there. Apparently, the theory is that a lot of women have a wrist. Freckle, go ahead. Look at your wrist right I've got, now. I've got one there. I can even see Glenn looking at his wrist right. I have Glenn's one. check. You do Beatrice, too. Beatrice, our producer, has one. So it, if you at home have a freckle, let us know. What We're do we curious. do with this information? <laughs> what? We bring you only the best here at Houston Listen, Life. Listen, this is what we do, people. <laughs> I have no idea. At home, do you have the wrist freckle at home? Fifty-fifty. 50-50, well. That doesn't help. <laughs> doesn't help. If you have a wrist freckle, could you just vote? vote you know what, we have a live shot side, to get to, please. but we also saw Aladdin over the weekend. Go see it, it's so good. Is it so yes, good? Did you so sing good. along? Yes. Did you really? Yes, Lori and I, best friend Lori was there, and Andrew, AJ, and uh, it was such a great movie. Go see it, go see it, go see it. It's a feel-good summer it movie. Well. Aladdin, the uh, the animation was one of my favorite Disney movies, so. It is Brandon's favorite Disney yeah, movie. Yeah, it's, you will not be disappointed. Okay, maybe yeah. we'll go this week. You know how I feel about going to the movies, though. I know, go, I just don't go. like people on their phones and talking. Ugh, annoying. Anyway, so we talked I don't about- like people, that's what I was stuck on. <laughs> I don't. Don't like people. <laughs> so, <laughs> just kidding. We mentioned that in addition to the wine, if you want to learn how to make some really great cocktails, beautiful in order to, I don't know, get drunk and impress your friends at the same time, <laughs> there is a spot in town teaching you how you can do just that. A Houston Life correspondent, Lauren Kelly, is out at Decatur Bar and Pop-Up Factory learning how to drink like a lady. Pinkies what? up, Lauren. Huh? So... You guys might, yeah, pinkies up and with my freckle on the backside. I have one. I do have one. You guys might recognize this space. It's the old location, but it's been transformed into a beautiful new bar slash pop-up factory with more than just bar and food here. They actually teach classes, and I'm here with the owner right now, Miss Lauren Brackman. Hello, and thank you so much for having us today. Hi, Lauren. Thank you all for being here. So let's tell Houston a little bit about the new concept in the space. Well, we love the idea of pop-ups here, and we have our kitchen is run by Chef Evelyn, and she's doing a chef residency where she's serving South Asian food, and we also do lots of work up uh, lots of workspace we have workshops here we yeah i was showing them this beautiful space it looks like a very beautiful classroom where you can come in and there's there's kids classes to learn how to cook we just had a kids dumpling class we have some adults classes we do some fun art stuff we love hosting happy hours and different events in that space awesome well i'm going to take a look behind the bar uh decaturbar.com for more info but i'm going to go learn how to be a bartender right now <laughs> so come with me you guys i'm going to go back the secret way and i'm I'm gonna do some bartending with the bar manager, Miss Leslie Ross. She's here and she's gorgeous and she is ready to show me how to make the Space City Spritz. We are ready to get down this morning. <laughs> all, right. all right, so uh, today- I recognize all of these things. 
maybe not in the way that we're going to put them together. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. But uh, this is going to be our interpretation of an Aperol spritz. And uh, basically, we're going to take an ingredient that you see here, and we do a quick little uh, infusion with orange peel, okay. uh, and we use a microwave. So A microwave yes. to infuse it? Yeah. Well, who knew? If it's good enough for Fra and Audria, it's good enough for us. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's get started here. We have some iced down wine glasses. I think these look beautiful. You can use whatever glass you have available. It could even be, you know, I use jelly jars at home. Let's be real. Oh, I that's a good idea. This. Yeah, I don't that's watch a, this. Don't waste any jar. Absolutely any jar is not. handy. Any jar will do. Okay. So we have our Aperol in. The Aperol is such a beautiful color, it too. Like, lovely, it's so bright. It is a lovely color. So um, traditionally, they say to put the Prosecco in first, but in this case, I want to layer it really nice and pretty. So Ooh. we're going to use the, this is what the spoon is actually made for. I don't think a lot of people know that. I didn't know that. I would also, just mix it. a fancy bar trick. It makes it look fancy when we're doing it. <laughs> when we're doing it at the bar. It makes us look like we know what we're doing a little bit. I'm like, watch do. her make that drink for me. Yeah. It's so cool. And one hand. And then we're going to add a splash of Texas favorite, Topo Chico. Okay. Uh, this saves lives. It also makes this drink light and bright. <laughs> and you know what? I'm actually going to let you finish garnishing this okay, drink for right. me. Okay, all right. Let's do this so quickly. here in front of us, we okay. have some fresh orange peel. Okay. Uh, orange citrus. Go ahead and put that in there. Can I use my fingers Absolutely. just for now? And one of the things that we it like goes to in. use here, yep, goes okay. in. One of the things we like to use here is uh, Castle Vitrano olives. These are going to be a, a little uh, Italian accoutrement here. And this is what makes this drink special. You know it's fancy when you use the word accoutrement. Absolutely. We also have <laughs> Arbicania olive oil. So we just we just okay. took it over next level. All right. So wow. here you go. A couple little spurts there. Can I taste it now? Absolutely. Is, it, is it ready? It's ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's so refreshing. It's perfect for summertime. Absolutely. Leslie also teaches a class that's how to drink like a lady. And I, I think that, oh, for me, what is it, pinkies up? Uh, most of the time, most we the do. Time, thank you. Most of the time, we drink like ladies. Cheers, Cheers guys. DecaturBar.com for more info. How this is awesome. How to drink like a lady most of the time, last Thursday every month. <laughs> I Cheers. That is great. That's great. And by the way, that is the old Beavers location. So <laughs> keep drinking like a lady, ladies. Very like nice. It. You I should enroll like your it. kids in that uh, kids' cooking class. Listen, AJ dumplings. would love that kids' cooking class. I'm definitely going to look that Beautiful up for kitchen. sure. And by the way, more info is available by visiting the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. And do you remember that TV show, The Hills, The Reality? It's kind of like the original reality show, right? It was all about a group of 20-somethings living the SoCal lifestyle, falling in love, and starting their careers. A few cat fights, show. too. Uh, cat fights are the best, right? The show is relaunching later this month on MTV, but the stars, they are not kids anymore. Today, we're chatting with the Hill star, Audrina Patridge, about life since the show, about being a mom, launching a business, even some fashion faux pas, uh-oh, of the early 2000s. I remember those as well. I know. We all have a few of those, unfortunately. The mom jeans. <laughs> Coming up next, switch up your beauty routine for summer. What to add to the makeup bag today to help you get that J-Lo look tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers. Can I get a refill on this wine, yeah. please? Summer already, and our next guest is helping us battle the heat while still looking absolutely flawless. Oh, sounds good to me. Here with all the info, makeup artist and blogger Ileana Treese. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having and me. And this is a challenge for a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. You look great when you're ready to go, but then you walk out the door and, and suddenly it And that Houston all... humid heat just like melts your face. Exactly. All right, I got the tip. So this is from Scandinavia. You know how like when we leave, we need to spray our hair, right? So it can right? stay in place. This is your hairspray for your makeup. It's less than $20. You can find it on Amazon. And when you're done with the look, here, I will show you. You want to spray it maybe not all up on the on the face, but just a little bit back. So about 12 inches away. Yeah, there. just a little spritz. It actually feels super refreshing. Doesn't it feel nice? It's <laughs> and nice it just and sets cooling, everything. Right? Yes. And this is setting what you've already worked on. So even it's going to withstand the humidity as well? Yes. And it's going to make it, your makeup look more like skin versus like powder. Oh, I keep okay. it in the fridge so does, it feels really nice. Does it make a difference though what kind of makeup someone has on their face or does that work with anything? Everything. Powders, creams, it's going to bulletproof everything. And that's wow. about $26 yeah. on Amazon, right? Yeah. Okay. That's Easy a good investment. Find. Okay. So the next thing that we're looking at here, the trend for summer is sort of a bright eye. Does that mean shadow and liner or what, what does that mean? It, 
in this case, yes. So like right now, New York Fashion Week, we saw a lot of like bold, bright neon colors. Actually, we see that in the clothing as well, right? So why not add it into your makeup routine? So this is NYX. It's a 10, it's a 10 shadow palette. For only $20, you get 10 bold, brilliant colors to play with for the summer. So this is a really good one. And that's a beautiful look, uh, Camilla Bea, that we just saw. Very, yes. very nice. That's that basically blue. I think, our yeah, inspiration. Yeah, she, she was uh, rocking the green color. Nice. Yeah, it can be any color. Like, there's so many great options in here. I just love personally playing with orange and blue. I feel like they contrast beautifully together. Now, how do you avoid making someone look like a clown, though? Because I can imagine with a color palette that bright, I am so glad you asked that. I feel like you really need to know how to blend. So if you look at this brush, it's very close and compact. So it's going to apply a lot of color. So that's why I'm using it on the lid. But to answer your question, you're going to want to go back in with something fluffy to get that nice blend out so it doesn't really have an edge. It just looks really nice. And, and you're seamless. blending with the same color? Yeah, the okay. same color. You don't have to have a transition color. You just have to change the brush. So that's more of like a ponytail fluffy brush? Yes. Okay. That, that's going to give you that nice like blurred out effect on the end. And um, if you can, show up that, that palette again because again, these colors are very bold. Um, and which one are you using on her? I am using this. It's like, it matches okay. my nails. It's yeah. like a beautiful coral, like ready for summer. And okay. then we're going to use this blue. When you use eyeliner, like a bold eyeliner, you don't have to use a liquid eyeliner. You can absolutely use an eyeshadow. Okay. So we're using a pencil brush. Look up for me. And we're just going to run it along her lash line. Beautiful. Easy to, it is beautiful. And I love that you've paired it with some soft curls on Melanie's head. Very, very yes. nice look. we got to move on to our next look. Great and job. Uh, great job, Melanie. Monica is our next model. Describe her look and how you created it. This is my favorite. So it's summer. We all want the J-Lo glow, right? So Absolutely. you can tell she's very like bronze. We are actually um, on the runway this year. It's all about bronzer, but actually in place of the blush. Usually bronzer is like underneath the cheekbone to highlight the, the uh, cheek but we're gonna use this um, as a blush instead, so. Bronzer is also one of those things you gotta go really easy on though, right? Yes, so I like to use something that's fluffy so you can um, really build it up. So it doesn't put too much, cause then you're like, oh, you're in trouble, right? If you're so. applying bronzer in three seconds, that's not enough time. You need to really take your time yeah. with it, right? And I think also you have to be careful of how shimmery it is, cause you really Absolutely. want the bronze color, not you the want, shimmer. You want a matte color when it comes to bronzer, cause anything matte is gonna like descend and anything you put a highlight is gonna come forward. So when you're contouring and bronzing, you want a matte color. You also recommend uh, some techniques for the lip and for the hairstyle when paired with a bronzer. Yes, so I love to show off her skin. So we put it, um, Jan Villano did our hair. So we did it in a nice sleek J-Lo bun um, just to kind of show off like the her bronzy skin. But this is like from Scott Barnes himself, J-Lo's makeup artist. It's Neutrogena Spray. It's actually a sunscreen. And this is what he uses on J-Lo. And if it's good enough for J-Lo, it's good for us, right? So it gives, you, it gives you that nice gloss Can I and, have the it's, extra? <laughs> and it's an SPF. So you're protecting your skin and looking fabulous. Monica, oh you my look gosh. Great. <laughs> okay, let's bring out our last model, Jennifer, because we want to make sure we see her look. Very summery, fun look. And you, what you did here. Yeah, this is the, the makeup. This no is makeup. the no makeup makeup look. So it's very subtle, it's very soft and natural. It looks like she's like shining from within. Look down. What do they say? I woke up like this, right? Yes. <laughs> a little bit of color. So, so you're using one thing all over the face. Yes, it's a cream. So the good thing about a cream is that you can use it on your lips, eyes, and cheek. This is, uh, it's under $30 and you just tap it onto the areas where you want it. And this is called Nude Sticks 3-in-1? Yes, so they're great for traveling or if you're going to the beach and you want to add like a little bit of color or really, close your mouth, um, if you're like on the go and you don't have time to put like a full face, just right. real quick, eat quick and easy, get some color going. You can use it on the lip as Fantastic. well. And I noticed you paired the hair with uh, some beach waves. Yes, Soften it's the very look. nice, very effortless, nice like going to the beach look. Very subtle as well. All right, Ileana, happy summer. Thanks to all of our models as well. By the way, if you would like to connect with Ileana, you can visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. Thanks so much, ladies. Thank you. We'll still have details on how you can enter to win free tickets to see Houston Ballet's newest show, The Merry Widow. And coming up next on the Shakiba Report, five common financial mistakes small business owners make. We will be right back. Thanks, ladies. Awesome.
someone you know owns a small business, you know that every single dollar counts, but there are so many common mistakes small business owners make. Well, here to help us avoid those mistakes, Private Wealth Advisor with Ameriprise Financial, Trevor Shakiba, along with Jerome Austin with RY2 Solutions. Welcome, gentlemen. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Let's just jump right in, Trevor, and let's talk about this is basically starting with reinvesting back into your business. We hear this all the time. Yeah, so this is a common mistake. And, and let me just add, I'm, I'm really excited about this month because we're going to talk about business ownership and entrepreneurship. And this is a great segment to kick it off, especially with Jerome, who's kind of an expert on how to make your business run more efficiently. But you can't just put everything back in the business. And I'm, of course, I'm saying this as a financial planner. If all you do is invest everything back into the, invest, uh, into the business, you're not guaranteed eventually to be able to sell the business for what you want. And so that can be a big problem. I recommend <clears throat> start paying yourself a salary. So if you were an employee, you wouldn't work for free. So you need to start paying yourself and start saving out of the business as well. Yeah, it's okay to take a salary, people. Yeah. I mean, it's your business. Okay, so let's talk about the numbers, Jerome, because you say if you don't know the numbers of the business, you don't know your business, right? That's absolutely right. It's so hard, I know, for some small business owners to actually know the numbers, get in deep, understand where they're making money, how they're making money. But it's so important to your success. If you need help, reach out to a CPA, reach out to an accountant, get someone who really understands financial statements, someone that can help you understand your tax liability. Use your resources accordingly. But it's just so important because you have to know what's going out, what's coming in, because that's the key to profitability. Yeah. Absolutely. This is another interesting, with so many people um, having either uh, a full-time uh, business or maybe a side hustle, as we like to say, yeah. um, not having the right insurance can be a major problem. Yeah, so this is never a fun thing to talk about, but really what I'm uh, talking about here is protecting what you can't afford to lose. So here will be life insurance, disability, liability in some cases. And from what I've seen working with a lot of small business owners and entrepreneurs, they usually think they're indestructible. Mm -hmm. But the problem with that is, of course, that's wrong. But when you start a business, you, you take risk. Uh, so that's common, but make sure that you've thought through the risk and the liability and you've protected yourself and your family when it comes to owning a business. I mean, along those lines, Trevor, we, when you talk about disaster, disaster, Jerome, can come in many different ways. It could come in a data breach, hacking, yeah. a hurricane. How do small business owners protect themselves in case of disaster? You're absolutely right. And one thing we always tell people is d business disruptions or disasters are inevitable, right? It's just a matter of when and in what shape, what form, how big, the size, et cetera. So, number of things you can do. One, make sure you know your inventory, know your assets, right? Something as easy as taking your cell phone, taking pictures, having it documented, protecting your data. Make sure your data is saved. You know, there's the mysterious cloud, but it works, right? You can put your information there. If you're a paper person, maybe you scan all your important documents and have that saved. And a common mistake we see with small business owners is that they're keeping everything in one place on one laptop. Make sure you save that information to external hard drives, maybe store it in additional places. And then also make sure you have a communication plan in place. If a major di business disruption occurs, how are you gonna communicate with your employees, your customers, your suppliers, your vendors? Quick story, when Hurricane Harvey hit, a lot of the local restaurants in my area use social media. So they were able to communicate immediately after the storm mm -hmm. that, hey, we're open even if it's a limited amount of business hours, but they were still able to, to make revenue, still had customers even during a time when most people weren't able to communicate directly, but they use social media in the best way possible. Oh. Mm. Yeah, having a plan, super important. Also, I mean, I think when you're starting or having the idea of opening your own business, starting a business, you have that business plan. And, and sometimes maybe as in, in the process of doing that, we deviate from that and yeah. you say stay on track. Yeah, so another way to say this is keep the main thing the main thing, which is revenue, revenue, revenue. You've got to continue to drive top line, which is get new customers um, and really focus on sales. Uh, a lot of people don't want to talk about sales, right. but you can easily get diverted into all these other different things about forming the right structure and the the, the, the website, but, but really focus on the main thing. I, I think, would you say the same thing? 
Yeah, we see that a lot. People will get distracted. They'll start on pet projects that don't necessarily add to the revenue or add to the bottom line. You got to stay focused on what keeps the doors open, right? And what's going to make you successful. Do what you do best and focus on that. And final thoughts. I mean, earlier you, Jerome, said something that really stuck with me. If you have problems taking care of your own books or knowing how much is coming in and what's going out, hire someone to do it for you because that ultimately could save you money as well, right? Absolutely. Um, we have a term, focus on your core competency, right? And let the experts do the expert things, right? And that always is a safe way to, to be on the right side of the books and the right side of the financials. All right, Jerome and Trevor, thanks so much for stopping by. Great advice as always. If you'd like to connect with Jerome, just visit ry2solutions.com. And as always, if you'd like more info on financial planning or to schedule your complimentary initial consultation with Trevor and the Shakiba Group, you can call 281-724-9917 or visit them online at the thechequibagroup.com. Still ahead, you know her from MTV's The Hills, but Audrina Patridge is more than a reality TV star. She's going to share what she learned from motherhood and starting a business. And coming up, ever thought about trying plastic surgery but didn't because of all kinds of problems, intimidating procedures? We're going to show you how you can get surgical results without going under the knife. We'll be right back. Quick reminder, we have four free tickets to give away to see the Houston Ballet's newest show, The Merry Widow. Based on life in the 20th century in Europe, the show is a romantic comedy with witty and intriguing characters and rich music, gorgeous costumes, and stunning sets. The show runs through May 31st through, uh, through June 9th at the Wortham Theater, and you can purchase tickets at HoustonBallet.org. But as Darius mentioned, we have four tickets to give away right now. All you have to do is go to our website, HoustonLife.tv, click the Merry Widow article, and enter your information for a chance to win. The winner will be announced on the show this coming Wednesday. Good luck. Switching gears now, have you been eating right and working out but still not seeing the results you'd like? Well, this summer, why not try something totally different? There is a brand new procedure that promises surgical results without having to go under the knife. Ford certified plastic surgeon Dr. Forrest Roth with West Ab Plastic Surgery is here to explain how face tight and body tight work. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank okay, you. you had me without surgery. Just tell me about it. What What is <laughs> okay. face tight, body tight? So this is a procedure performed in the clinic. It's a three-step procedure. Uh, procedure. First, we numb you, whichever body part you choose. So let's just say your abdomen. Then we heat and tighten the skin with the device that looks a lot like a flat iron for your hair. Really? But it's a flat iron for your skin. Okay. And then we liposuction the area and remove any volume that needs to be removed. All while you're awake in the clinic, no surgery, no scars. And so this is basically the, the demo of what's happening. So that's the flat iron for the skin, right? Yes. That's going over and tightening that area. But it's also, um, I, I guess it's doing two for one because no matter how many crunches, if you've had a baby, you've got some skin that needs to be yeah. tightened. Absolutely, uh, especially if you've had a baby. Right. A lot of times there's trouble areas that moms can't get rid of. So this is how you do it and you can do it without the surgery. And this, Dr. Ross, so this is done inside your clinic. About how long does it take? So depending on the number of body areas we're treating, approximately one hour per body area. Okay, and then um, we, said, we said body tight and face tight. So where on the body besides the abdomen can we do this? Pretty much any body part okay. that you choose. So we'll do a lot of face and neck tightening. It's a facelift without surgery. We can do a, a non-surgical tummy tuck, thighs, arms, love handles, back. And we're seeing the animation right now on the belly area, which is a problem for a lot of folks. Let's talk about the long-term results because obviously one of the benefits of doing a surgical procedure is you see it long-term, but even now without the surgery, you're saying that people will still see these results last for years. Absolutely. This is a permanent correction. Once the skin's tightened and the fat is melted, then liposuctioned, it's gone. It's not coming back unless you gain more weight. Whoa, look at that before. That after. is unbelievable. And I think the key here is the liposuction that's being done. And a lot of times you would think that needs to be done, uh, you know, in a hospital, you're going to have major downtime, but this is happening right in your clinic. Absolutely. Because it's all done through tiny five millimeter incisions, we can do it in the clinic while you're awake. Okay, but let's talk about recovery time though, because obviously, this is non-surgical. With surgery, people recover for a very long time. With this procedure, how much recovery? Like, would you have to miss 
work time? So there are no restrictions after the procedure. You will be a little swollen. Maybe you won't want to go to the gym for a couple days, but there's really no other downtime. Hmm. Unbelievable. Maybe I should schedule one for this <laughs> afternoon. I know. Okay, Can you fit us in? <laughs> you mentioned, you mentioned uh, the lipo portion of yes. this. Are people still doing that thing where they can have some fat lipoed out of part of their body and put elsewhere? Absolutely. So if you have fat somewhere you don't want it, why not put it somewhere you do? Uh, buttocks, breast, mid-face, lips. What are the benefits of doing that fat transfer versus doing uh, another... Uh, like a filler or yeah. something. So fat grafting is very natural. It's your own fat, so it's very healthy. Also, it's a permanent correction as well. Uh, the general rule is about 50% of it will be absorbed by your body, but the other 50% will last forever. And would you guys do that in the same day that you do the face tight or body tight? You immediately put the fat back in? Absolutely. It's all done at the same time while you're awake. I love it. Go in one, Courtney, come out another. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever change, Courtney. We love you the way you are. I don't okay, know. so let's talk about the special offer because right now you're running a deal for our viewers. That's right. So for today, we're going to do 20% off for the first 100 callers, and that's 20% off the uh, physician fee. Um, this can add up to a couple thousand dollars, so it's a great offer. And um, hopefully you'll call in now and we'll be standing by. Oh my gosh. And when you guys do this, please send us your before and after oh, photos. Oh, I can't Because I do think it's remarkable. It especially is. Especially like the chin before and after and the abdomen pictures. Absolutely. And Dr. Roth, you are a board certified plastic surgeon. You've, you've done years of, of study and facelifts and things like that. This is really the future of what you're seeing as far as plastic surgery, right? It is. It's the trend currently. Uh, people don't want to go to the hospital if they're not sick. So why would you? You know, now you can do it without the scars, without yeah. the downtime, without the cost. It's a game changer. Absolutely. Dr. Forrest Roth, great to see you. Thank I still you. have a million questions for you, but we're out of time right Let's now. Talk. So come back and see us anytime. <laughs> and if you all would like to learn more about Dr. Roth's special, you can call 713-559-9300 or visit them online, westavplasticsurgery.com. By the way, you can also contact Dr. Roth by emailing drroth at me.com. Oh, that's a very easy email address. Thank Dr. You. Roth at me.com. Yes, sir. Great Thanks. to see you. Thank you. Good to see you. Well, next on Houston Life, helping women gain the confidence to start a business. A recap of this weekend's Create and Cultivate conference at the Galleria, including an interview with star of the hit MTV show, The Hills, Aldrina Petridge, when we return. back. Some of Houston's female entrepreneurs are hitting the ground running this work week after an inspiring Saturday at the Galleria. There, the Create and Cultivate Style Summit featured women-led workshops and panels about networking, fashion, and building community. Our executive producer, Katie Myers, was there to chat with the event's founder and its keynote speaker, TV personality and business owner, Audrina Patrid, about creating and cultivating the career of your dreams. Myers here for Houston Life. We're at the Galleria today at the Create and Cultivate Style Summit. It's all about connecting women entrepreneurs, digital entrepreneurs to give them support and collaborate. It's pretty awesome. We also are going to be talking with someone you may recognize from the hit MTV show, The Hills. Let's go check it out. So for those that don't know, tell us what is Create and Cultivate. Yeah, so Create and Cultivate is an online platform and offline event series for women looking to create and cultivate the career of their dreams. And we host events nationwide targeted to different topics. So obviously today, fashion, style, and beauty. And then other ones, entrepreneurship, career, uh, cultural visionaries, all the, all the things. But how important has Houston been kind of on your business journey and to have it be the home of the Style Summit? This is our third time doing the Style Summit here at the Galleria, which is so fun. It just gets bigger and better every single time. But the women of Houston really bring it. Like everyone looks incredible. They come to the nines, they hang out, they take notes, you know, they have a drink, they get their hair done. It's just a really great day and a really great community. And there's like, no better place to do it than the Galleria because legitimately every single brand is here. You have a keynote conversation at every event. Why did you bring in Audrina for this one? Yeah, so super timely. Obviously, we all know and love her from the hills. Um, obviously, it's getting a reboot now, but she's also launched a swimmer line, Prey Swimmer. She's a working mom. She's doing a ton of different stuff, and she obviously embodies that California lifestyle. So we really wanted to bring her here to talk about, you know, being that triple threat. Why is it important for you to come here and share what you've been through? 
I mean, I just think it's so important. I wish that I had, I had this, you know, when I was in my early 20s, um, because it's so amazing that I have the opportunity to even share with all these beautiful women here that want to start their own businesses. And, you know, a lot of times, like, you are going to fail. And I just want people to know that just because you fail the first time doesn't, you learn from it. Like, it's a failure is not a bad thing. I followed you on the hills. We all kind of saw you grow up, and we got to watch your style journey evolve. It's documented forever, right? Yeah. Uh, how have you seen your style evolve over the years? Um. Gosh, I feel like it evolves with the trends, but one thing that I I have held on to is definitely the edge. Um, you know, like, I always love my leather pants or a leather jacket. Yes. Um, but then, you know, you just throw on, a, like, a nice blazer. Like, I like that mixing and matching, and I'm really big on expensive, high-end accessories and then more vintage um, T-shirts and... Levi jeans. I look back, even watching the old scenes from the hills, and I'm like, what was I thinking? Like, eyebrows, the lipstick, I did my makeup different. Um, you know, I wore a lot of those low-cut Frankie B jeans with the tank tops. That was like my go-to with heels. So how has being a mom now, a mompreneur, how has that affected your business journey? Man, I, it's been challenging, but Kira is a little angel, and ever since she was a little baby, like. I would take her to the Prey Swim office with me, and I had a crib there. So I just put her in the crib, gave her some toys, and I was actually helping ship products out and doing inventory myself at that time. Um, so, and now she still goes to the office with me, and I love that, you know, she watches how mommy works, and I want her to learn, like, good work ethic. Let me ask you, Prey Swim, What's next? I mean, do you have anything on the horizon? I mean, I've been filming The Hills again, um, so that's gonna be airing June 24th on MTV. You guys have to check it out. And actually, Prey Swim is on the show. So um, I had a fashion show and a big party that we filmed and just the whole behind the scenes, it's crazy. So you'll get an inside look of, of the chaos at a fashion show. And then um, aside from that, just being a mom and you know, just day-to-day -day life, I mean, every day there's something new, so. Is there any advice you would give to people who may see this? Um, maybe young women who are just wanting to start something of their own? Yeah, I mean, don't give up. I think every young woman, you gotta, you gotta put yourself out there and mistakes are a good thing, failures are a good thing, you learn from them, you only get stronger. And that's where you have a great story to tell when you're, you know, successful. And even though you're successful, you're still gonna have challenges every day. That never ends. What a lovely event. And for the complete interview with both Audrina and Jacqueline, head on over to Houston Life TV's YouTube channel. Well, you can subscribe by searching Houston Life. We'll be right back. If wrinkles, crow's feet, and under eye bags are keeping you from feeling your best, our next guest has a solution. Lifestyle expert Melinda McKenzie, welcome back to the show. Here to Thank explain you. how Plexiderm <laughs> can reduce some of those key signs of aging. By the way, yeah. You use this product. I do, every day. And you've told us your age before. I have. You want to say it or you want me to? 58 yes. years old. Right? Unbelievable. Thank you. And it keeps getting better and better. New and improved formula, right? Yeah, so this is a serum now. You know, Plexiderm came out with a concentrated cream and people liked it, but we learned along the way serums are easier to apply. So they've changed it over to a serum now so it's easier because here's the secret with it. A little dab will do you. You don't need a lot. And serums seem to be easier to, you know, to do, to apply it that way. For both women women and men, right. by the way. So it works on all different skin types, it right? Works on it. So no matter if you have dry skin, which I do, oily skin, no matter what your tone, type, or texture is, it's going to go on smoothly. And as you can see here, it's good for any year of your face that you want to look fresher. Of course, under the eyes, the number one thing. But let's say there are other areas you're concerned about, like maybe the forehead, maybe around the mouth. And the exciting thing about Plexiderm is, if you look at all the different, she still looks like herself, right? Yeah. But you just look fresher. And that's the thing about aging. Like, I don't want to look like I'm 20, but I'd like to look good for my age. And, and you also don't want to look overdone, too. Thank you, right? Because people go in and get injectables, and then they become unrecognizable. They do, and it's embarrassing. And as you'll see with this time lapse here, 
here. We didn't show her before we applied Plexiderm. We just let her set with it. They use it everywhere. Look around her mouth. Look around in between her eyebrows, her chin. Her look at when we showed her the mirror. She she couldn't even speak, and she's a very animated lady. The shocking thing about Plexiderm is you don't realize over time those little things that change on your yeah. face, right? So Plexiderm is going to create an invisible shield wherever you want your skin to look fresh. Especially those little lines around oh her my mouth. Gosh. It's remarkable how they go away. Yeah. Uh, Melinda. Your face was the first face that I ever saw to use the product. I remember yes. seeing you just dab it under your right. eyes, and I could actually see the product going to work. It was very exciting. I tell people when you use Plexiderm for the first time, take pictures, because the caveat with it is once you apply it, you have to hold still and relax, right? So it can do its job. So it's difficult when you see how fast your face is changing to not smile and talk, right? You want it to create that great shield, so keep still for 10 minutes, then talk and laugh as much as you want. What is one of the most common questions you get about this product because I know people yeah. pull you aside and of stop course. you at the grocery store. Number one, does it work? Yes. But the number two is, well, once I apply it, can I move my face? Oh, no. well, of course you can. They're afraid that you face. have to. Yeah. I mean, I'm a very dramatic, overly, you know, my, my family says I'm a high maintenance, but I, I move my face a lot, right? I don't want to put something on that I can't be who I am. And the great thing about Plexiderm is your skin still looks like your skin. I think that's very important. Well, and the fact that you are almost 60 years old, Melinda. Almost 60. Blows my <laughs> mind. We mentioned that both men and women yes. use the product. So let's toss to a clip of uh, some of those users. Great. Plexiderm was so easy to use, a little dab will do me. I looked in the mirror and I said, wow, I look like I'm back in college. Th there's no price for that. Plexiderm, you got, a, you got a partner for life. I could have 20 hours of sleep and people always say, oh, you look tired, <laughs> which I'm 58, expect gravity to hit. So when I saw Plexiderm and I saw the advertisement, I definitely had reservations when I first came in to use the product. And looking in the mirror, I could definitely say it's a winner. And I think every woman in America would want to use it, whether they're young. And I've had bags from the time I was 28 years old to 58. And uh, I'll wait till I'm 75 to get the whole facelift. But maybe with Plexiderm, I won't need it. Oh, I don't think she needs it no. at all. And this works, as you mentioned, a foundation under the makeup, right? Yes, absolutely. I'm a huge fan of makeup, and I wanted to continue to use it. So the um, issue with Plexiderm is use water-based foundation, right? Water-based concealer. The reason you do that is if you use any oil-based cosmetics, it will break the Plexiderm down. So I want people to know you can still use oils at night for your skin, but just when you apply your Plexiderm during the day, use water-based cosmetics that way you can still use your plexiderm here at the show we have makeup artists who do a little something to yeah. us uh, usually <laughs> when we're getting ready for the show it's yeah. true right not a surprise <laughs> but for a lot of makeup artists you're finding that they are adding plexiderm to their makeup kit to help their clients look even better yes let's roll another clip Hi guys, my name is Sandy Marinese. I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And one of the number one question that I always get in my chair is, can you make me look younger? So we had a few people that we applied it to and some of them at first I was like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. And I was so impressed how fast, efficient, and how well it really worked. Now I could really say to people, yes, I can make you look younger. I love that she said, well, I'm not sure if this is going to work because, as you mentioned, that's one of people's concerns. They of want course. to know. Yeah, and, you know, the great thing about Plexiderm is it's a family-based business, and the, it really started out because someone in the business had issues with that, and that's why it got created because it was just the under-eye bags, right? And so they figured out a way to use the silicates to create that beautiful invisible shield so you can still be you without going to the doctor's office, without having that scary visit of, like, well, is someone else going to change the way my face looks? Yeah, and if you put it on in the morning, you head off to work, then you have a dinner afterward, this will stay with you all day long? You know, it's different for everybody, but for me it does. And what I tell people is, if, and here's the other question I do get asked is, will all of a sudden it go away? And then my face comes back like the Cinderella, like, oh no, all my lines. No, it does not. It's a gradual fade. So let's say you put it on in the morning, you've got to go straight to a dinner. Just check it out in the mirror. If you feel like it's maybe loosening up, then I just dab a little bit more around those areas. That's all you have to do. But you put it on and wait 10 minutes. It is good for 10 hours. So dab a little more on, even if you're made up and then yeah. could you reapply It'll just makeup? Re you, you have to use the smallest amount. Once it's already set and it's ready for the day, the reason you only have to dab on top is because it's already there and ready to go. Just a little touch up. Yeah. Just a little touch up, right? <laughs> so Melinda, uh, what 
what's the deal today? What's of the sale Of course, price? we love deals. So we would like people to get their hands on Plexiderm. So they've made it available for 50% off the retail price and free shipping. All right, there's the info on your screen. If you'd like to learn more about the offer, you can log on to Plexiderm.com or you can call them 800-923-7063. Melinda, 58-year-old, beautiful <laughs> Melinda. I'll be back and do my This is 60 party, right? We cannot <laughs> wait. We cannot wait. Thanks for making us look good. It's great to see you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, when it comes to wine, do you prefer white or red, sweet or dry? I'll drink out of the bathtub Everything. at home. Who cares, right? A wine expert <laughs> performs a taste bud test to explain why apparently there's a science behind it. I mean, who knew? Drink up. Okay, plus, Daddy and Me fashion, affordable looks to keep the entire family on trend. I love this because it's always about Mommy and Me. Exactly. I love a Daddy and Me fashion show. N nothing like a fashionable daddy. Love it. <laughs> Go, Daddy. I love when you call me Daddy. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>